I'm Liz Findlay. I farm here along with our livestock. Um, this is Frudweneth Issaf, Bellinwunt, Aberporth, a farm of 50 acres that looks out to Cardigan Bay. We keep our beef cattle here and we grow our field scale veg here and we keep our poultry and our horticultural crops at Nankleed and work between the two farms with our composting system and our biodynamic preparations. So biodynamic farming, um, it's based on um, lectures provided by Rudolf Steiner back in the 1920s. Rudolf Steiner wasn't a farmer. He was an anthropologist, a philosopher, and compiled a huge number of books and information and papers on many different things, the whole philosophy of life. He was approached by a group of farmers that were concerned about what was happening to farming in the Industrial Revolution, really, and the ever-increasing um, chemicals that were coming into farming and in more of a monoculture sort of way. And there were farmers that recognised that that really wasn't such a good thing to do. They could see that the biodiversity of the land was being lost and it was recognised right, right away as soon as farming moved that way by some farmers. The importance of having the animals on the land, the importance of having a whole farm system that is self-contained and not reliant on inputs from outside and that, um, that you know, that's quite unusual now. We've moved away from that so much. Farming is so much more about bringing inputs onto the farm and you just don't need to. If you have a holistic, balanced, diversified farming system with all your livestock, you self-sustaining. So Rudolf Steiner was approached by the farmers who could see it wasn't right what was happening, but they didn't know what to do. But as as an intellect, as a philosopher, he put together this concept that's sort of linked back to the natural world of, of people observing their animals, working with their animals, listening to their animals, and, um, and the rhythm, the whole rhythm of life. It was recognised what an influence the moon has, because obviously it does, it moves our tides, every you know, twice a day it moves our tides, it moves all our water. So therefore it's also moving the water in for the plants. So you have the sort of the light, you have your four elements and that's been recognised throughout civilization really. That we have the light, we have the warmth, we have the earth and we have water. Um, and every civilization has recognised the importance of those elements. So um, the principles of biodynamic farming bring those um, four elements and connect them to the plants that the animals eat and the constellations in the sky above us. So we have the cosmic um, influence from the 12 uh, constellations that again nearly all um, civilizations have recognized and we recognize as zodiac signs but these are the star constellations and the influence that that has on um, our natural world as the moon uh, waxes and wanes and and orbits the earth and we orbit the sun so it's, it's quite complex and I can't pretend to understand it all, but <laughs> um, it's Rudolf Steiner observed, made these observations and biodynamic farmers ever since have made these observations and there are good times to sow seeds and good times to harvest crops. 
So we have a biodynamic planting calendar. It's been sort of evolved from the where the moon is, whether it's waxing or waning, and um, and whether it, the um, the constellations are and how they're interacting with, with each other, which creates these better times for for planting and sowing crops. It is definitely spiritual and we all have spiritual feelings and we all, I think, a lot of people feel better when we are out um, experiencing some of that con uh, connectivity between animals, whether we keep pets, whether we keep livestock or just growing seeds in the ground. Every child, every human person, I think, enjoys to see something growing out of the earth and even better if you're growing that food and then you're feeding yourself and you're eating it it's very important because all of that then benefits our health if we're eating healthy crops and animals that have lived a good and healthy life then we are going to be healthier too um, and that's really important in today's fast food world I think biodynamic is just more about keeping yourself in a closed loop and self-sustaining. And, and the other wonderful thing, it puts the power back in the farmer's hands, whether he's a coffee bean grower in Brazil or a tea producer or whoever, you know, he can manage his own farm and his own system. So it's um, quite empowering for people too, really.